Good morning everyone. Good morning class 9th. Today we will be solving some questions from exercise 4.5. Now exercise 4.5 is totally based on two formulas. The formula is a cube minus b cube equals to a minus b bracket a square plus ab plus b square. And the other formula is a cube plus b cube equals to bracket a plus b bracket close. Then another bracket a square minus ab plus b square. Now there are some questions that I have picked for you from the exercise to solve so that I can solve. But all the questions from exercise 4.5 is related to these two formulas nothing else. So we need to figure out in this formulas where can we use these two formulas in the exercise. Now the very first thing that we are going to use, do is question number 6. Question number 6. Now you might know that this chapter is factorization and when we do factorization the question is going to come in this form plus and minus form and then we have to change into multiplication form. This is the factorized part. Okay. So if you see this all the questions you will notice one thing that in all these four questions they have minus plus minus plus minus but I need to bring them down in brackets so that I can have in product form that is factorized form. Okay, so all the questions if you see over here, they are in this form and I have to change into this form. Okay, let's start solving. Let's do question number six, second part. So question number six, second part says that a cube minus b cube minus a plus b. This is question number six, second part. Now, you need to know that we can do one thing, we can pair them up. Okay, and I can write a cube minus b cube minus a minus b. So I took minus outside, so it had minus, it became plus, it had plus, it became minus over here. Now, I can use a formula. Which formula can I use? I can use the very first formula. So the first formula says a minus b, a square plus ab plus b square minus a minus b. Now, if you notice, in place of this, I have written this whole thing. Okay, this is the formula of this. So I have written, in place of this, I have written this. And the other term is just as it is. Now, if you see in both of them, what is common in both of them? If you see carefully, you will find one interesting thing. That in both the cases, A minus B is common. A minus B is in this area also. A minus B is in that area also. What are you going to do? You are going to take out A minus B and keep them outside. So what is left over here? The thing that is left over here is a square plus ab plus b square minus and what is left over here? Nothing is left. Where nothing is left then only one is left. So this is my answer. Can you guys see this is in the product form now. There is a multiplication in the middle and there are two brackets. Now this is factorized. Okay. This question was not factorized. Now this is factorized. So this is my answer a minus b bracket a square plus a b plus b square minus 1. This is my answer for the very first part. Okay. Let's see the second question that is seventh ka second part. Seventh second part says a cube minus a minus 120. Now this is a very interesting question. Why this is an interesting question? But I can see a cube, but I cannot see b cube. There's no b cube lying over here. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make b cube. How am I gonna make b cube? So if you guys notice over here, a cube minus a. Now I'm gonna break minus 125 plus 5. So in place of minus 120, if you guys notice, I am writing what? minus 125 plus 25 and if I solve this back again I am going to get 120 again but why am I doing it like that the rest of the things I have kept it like that why am I doing it like that because a cube minus 125 minus a plus 5 so I did pair these two things and these two things together why did I pair now you will come to know in this step a cube minus I can write this like this a cube minus b cube and this minus can be outside a minus b I can write inside that is a minus 5. Now I can apply the same formula like I did in the previous question 
a cube minus b cube a cube minus b cube what's the formula a minus 5 bracket a square plus 5a plus 25 and what is waiting for me over here a minus 5 okay so for this thing I made a formula and this is the formula I can but there is something common in this area and this area what is that common thing a minus 5 kick them outside pull them outside now what is left over here okay so what is left over here a square plus 5a plus 25 minus 1 okay but I can see some like terms over here the like terms if you guys see so a minus 5 is going to be like that a square plus 5a plus 24 that is my answer okay so i'm just going to go again through this question what we need to do is this question is not a proper question we need to make it a proper question because i have a cube but i don't have b cube i have to make something b cube so what did i do i took the nearest number to 120 that is 125 and 125 ka cube ho sakta hai. 5 into 5 into 5 so that's how I'm gonna break that numbers down okay so this is question number seven second part okay let's see question number eight question number eight says it's second part a cube minus 3a square b plus 3a b square minus 2b square now this is a problem over here okay what's the problem uh, sorry this is cube i guess this is cube i'm gonna make cube why because i don't see any solution to this so what i'm gonna do a cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square and I'm going to split them how many b cubes are there 2b cubes so I'm going to write minus b cube and minus b cube separately did you guys notice something so I separated both of them minus 2b cube tha, to mene ek -ek karke dekhi. Agar main se solve karta hon, then I'm going to get my answer back minus 2b cube but I don't want that I want them separately why do I want them because if you guys notice this Please notice this. This is a formula for something. I'm going to help you guys to understand. If you go to the very first page of this exercise, of, of this chapter, you're going to find one formula that is A minus B whole cube. This is a different formula. That is A cube minus B cube and then minus 3A square B plus 3AB square. This is the formula for A minus B ka whole cube. Now it is interesting that from here till here, it's same like that. So if it's same like this, I can also, in place of this, I can also write this because it's an equal sign. Either this or this. You can write, for example, let's say I have to write 9. Either I can write 9, either I can write 8 plus 1. Both are same. Okay. So right now, in place of this, I'll be writing A minus B whole cube and what is left minus b cube is left so i'm writing minus b cube can you see now this is a formula i can use a cube who's a cube this whole thing is a cube now this whole thing is a cube and this whole thing is b cube okay so a cube that is a minus b a minus b and then a square that is a minus b whole square this is a this whole is a plus a minus b into b and then plus b square now i just have to do simplification of this okay so how to simplify a minus 2b and this one a square plus b square minus 2ab I hope you can understand I opened up the bracket using the formula and then plus AB minus B square plus B square and if you guys notice there are some like terms that can be solved so this and this can be cancelled out and uh, 
minus 2ab and plus 2ab are like terms. I can solve them up. So my answer is going to be a minus 2b bracket a square plus b square minus ab. This is my answer. Okay. So that's how you're going to solve it. So first you're going to break this. So I broke this number. Okay, if you have any confusion, what you guys can do, you guys can go back in the video and watch the same thing again and again until or un unless you guys understand this, okay? So you'll be able to understand once you go back to this uh, video, just uh, to back forward and then you'll be able to get, get this question. Okay. Let's try solving the last question for today. That's this ninth second part. I'll help you guys to solve that. That is question number ninth, second part. A cube plus one upon A cube minus two A plus two upon A. This is a question for me now. Now in this question, if you guys notice very carefully, there's a part A cube and this can be B cube. Okay. So I'm going to help out and make a formula out of it. So a cube is this and b cube is this. So this is the formula that I'll be applying. So a plus one upon a, then a square minus a into one upon a. This is a into b, a b plus b square. That is one upon a ka whole square. Minus, if we see carefully, there is something common in both of them. Two is common. So I'm going to take minus two outside. So what is left? a minus 1 upon a okay uh, yes a minus 1 upon a there was a minus sign I'm sorry for the there was a minus sign over here so I'm going to use up this formula okay now I'm writing this again this and this can be cancelled out plus 1 plus 1 upon a square minus 2 a minus 1 upon a now tell me one thing this is whole one thing and this is another thing what is common that you guys see in both of this area this area and this area okay what do you guys see common obviously a minus 1 upon a is common right so a minus 1 upon a and a minus 1 upon a kick them outside so I'm kicking them outside a minus 1 upon a so what's left over here What's left in this area? a square plus 1 plus 1 upon a square. What is left over here? Minus 2. Okay. And there are like terms plus 1 and minus 2. You guys can solve that and you'll get an answer. a minus 1 upon a, a square minus 1 plus 1 upon a square. Okay. That's how you're going to solve some of the tough questions I've solved for you guys. And you guys can go accordingly. Also look at some of the examples. It's going to help you guys a lot. Thank you so much.